Hello, my name is Matt Clark and I'm a Lieutenant in the Denver Police Department's Major Crimes Division. This critical incident debriefing is intended to provide you with information regarding an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the 2400 block of South Colorado Boulevard on Tuesday, September 15, 2020. You are about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you have an understanding of the details of this incident. The use of deadly force by a police officer demands a thorough investigation be completed. The Denver Police Department is committed to ensuring a full and timely investigation of these serious incidents. This allows for a comprehensive examination of the officer's actions to determine compliance with state statutes and department policies. In accordance with legislation passed in 2015, the investigation of police shootings in Denver are conducted by a multi-agency investigative team made up of members of the Denver and Aurora Police Department Homicide Units, as well as the Denver District Attorney's Office. All critical incident investigations are actively monitored by the Office of the Independent Monitor. A word of caution, the images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised. On Tuesday, September 15, 2020, at approximately 10.30 p.m., a female called the Denver Police Department's non-emergency line and provided secondhand information regarding an intoxicated subject with a handgun in the parking lot of the apartment complex at 2499 South Colorado Boulevard. The caller explained that her family observed a handgun fall out of the subject's pants. She expressed concern that the subject with the handgun may hurt himself as he seemed to be in distress. My brother and my brother-in-law and my grandpa were like downstairs outside. And I mean, nothing happened, but there was a guy out there that he was like visibly impaired. And he tried to like hug everybody and then like a gun fell out of his pants. District 3 patrol officers were promptly dispatched to the call. When the officers arrived at the apartment complex, a bystander standing on his balcony advised the officers that the subject had walked northeast from the location. Officers located the described male in the 2400 block of South Colorado Boulevard on the east side of the street. The officers observed the subject was staggering and appeared to be intoxicated as he walked across Colorado Boulevard to the west side of the street. This person was later determined to be 22-year-old Mac McPherson. When officers approached Mr. McPherson, he was on the sidewalk in front of a small strip mall at 2401 South Colorado Boulevard. Since Mr. McPherson was believed to be armed, the officers parked their police vehicles against traffic in the southbound lanes of South Colorado Boulevard with their emergency overhead lights flashing. The officers exited their vehicles and initiated a high-risk contact. A high-risk contact is utilized anytime officers confront an individual they believe may be armed and may pose a threat to the officers. This method of contact creates distance between the subject and the officers and generally allows officers an opportunity to issue verbal commands to obtain voluntary compliance from the subject. Mr. McPherson turned toward the officers when they contacted him. He placed his hands in the air and verbally began interacting with the officers. Get your hands up! Somebody said you had a gun, now get on the ground! Get on the ground! Mr. McPherson was walking around in the street and on the sidewalk while questioning the officers. What did I do? The officers repeatedly advised Mr. McPherson to raise his hands and get on the ground. Get down on your knees! At one point, when Mr. McPherson turned his back to the officers, an officer observed the grip of a semi-automatic handgun protruding from the front right pocket of Mr. McPherson's pants. He's got something in his pocket. I see it, it's a gun. The officers communicated the presence of the handgun to each other at which time Mr. McPherson verbally acknowledged he had a firearm. Get on the there is a gun in my pocket! Mr. McPherson then moved his hand toward the firearm and began removing it from his pocket. The three involved officers, Corporal Robert Corelli, Corporal Anthony Gutierrez McCain, and Officer Dennis List, feared for their safety as Mr. McPherson was drawing the firearm from his pocket. Each officer fired their duty weapon at Mr. McPherson. Mr. McPherson was struck multiple times by the rounds that were fired. The officers stopped firing their weapons when Mr. McPherson dropped the firearm and they believe he was no longer a threat. The officers immediately rendered medical aid and continued doing so until Mr. McPherson was transported by ambulance to a local hospital. Mr. McPherson was pronounced deceased at the hospital shortly after he arrived. 
Following a police shooting, any officers involved in the incident are separated and assigned to a supervisor once the situation is stabilized. Involved officers remain in the company of the assigned supervisor throughout the initial investigation of the incident. Through the investigation, it was determined that the officers fired a total of 13 rounds. At the scene, investigators recovered Mr. McPherson's firearm on the ground along the west curb line of South Colorado Boulevard. This firearm was a Glock 17 Gen 4 9mm semi-automatic handgun with a magazine in the gun. There were no live rounds in the chamber of the firearm. The magazine contained four live rounds of 9mm ammunition. A toxicology report revealed the presence of cannabinoids in Mr. McPherson's system. His blood alcohol content was 0.259 grams per milliliter. For reference, this level is more than three times higher than the legal limit to drive in Colorado. All officers assigned to uniform patrol duties in Denver have been issued body-worn cameras. These devices are generally worn at chest level by patrol officers and are capable of recording both audio and video. Prior to being activated by the officer, the body-worn camera maintains a 30-second video buffer. Once the officer activates the camera, the 30-second video buffer is captured and the camera starts recording both audio and video. It is important to note that a body-worn camera captures a general perspective of what is in the camera's view. However, this footage may or may not be what the officer actually saw or perceived. At times, an officer's movement or hand positioning may inadvertently block the camera's view. Additionally, the camera may not capture light in the same way as an officer's eye. Here is the relevant raw body camera footage that was captured by the involved Denver police officers' body-worn cameras. Again, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, bro, put your hands up. How you doing, sir? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Get up. Put your hands on the uh, on your head, behind your head. Turn around. Face away from me. Get on the ground. Because I said so. Get your hands up. You're going to get shot. Get your hands up. What did I do? Somebody said you had a gun. Now get on the ground. Get on the ground. What did I do? Get on the ground now. Don't walk over here. No, what did I do? Get on the ground now. What did I do? Get on Tony, the Tony, I need less lethal here. Get on the ground. If you walk over me, I'm going to shoot you. You understand that? No, please don't. Get on your knees Get right now. What did I do? Get on the ground right now. What did I do? Get on the ground. I'll tell you about it. Get on the ground right now. What did I do? He's got something in his pocket. I see it. It's a gun. Get on the ground right now! Fifty-five Sam shots fired, officer involved. Put your hands out to the outside! Put your hands out! Tony, you wanna to work your way over to me? We'll go up this way. Both of you guys come over here. Walk around this way. Get your hands above your head! Keep them out like an airplane. Get the gun on the left. I got it. Don't move! He's got a knife right here. Stand by! Stand by! Don't move! Which side? Roll him which side? Pull on your right side. I'm hurt, man. Please don't. Okay. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Why would you shoot me? Right here. Right here. Why would you shoot me? There you go. Okay. All right, get gloves. Let's see. Let's get him onto his seat of position. Why okay. you shoot me? Hey, hold on, pal. Listen to me, partner. Why is you shooting me? Can you, can you sit up? Yeah. Are you able to sit up? Why did you shoot me? Why did you shoot me? Why did you shoot me? I got one right here for me. I got a quick clap. Why? This side's empty. Why did you shoot me? Okay. Continuing holding your train. Hey, JD. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I don't see anybody over here. His waistband's clear. Get him on the ground. Okay. Roll on to 
your side, bud. Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah, oh, please help okay. me. So they got yeah. some in the back here. Yep. All right, sir. God, please help me. Got one in the We got one that looks like in the lake. Uh, why? I'm going to start this back one. All right, sir. Uh, Where is it? I can't see the hole. God, okay. please help me. Well, yeah, block out, block please traffic up here from me. this place. You guys got cover while I do this? So yeah, I'm yeah, not... you're, you're good. God. I love you. Uh, Sir, just keep breathing, okay? Uh, Anybody else got quick plug? I don't have any quick plug. I got, I got more quick plug. Where? Did you okay. shoot? I did okay. not shoot. Can you put pressure on this? Can you uh, yeah. go with him to the ambulance for now? Or were you yeah. here when this happened? I, I, we pulled up and you fired. You got right, any? You'll wait here. Right there, okay. back. Yeah. Okay. I got, got extra. I got, no, no. Okay, you got gloves? Okay. Hey, bud, what's your name? What is your name? Hey, what's Good your name? Back. Mac? Where do you need, where do you need to put that at? I'm Mac. Sure. He's got an injury in his leg. Okay, let me, let me see. Let me take a... Get some light on here. Can you just help shut down, down traffic and start throwing some tape for yeah, me? Thank you. Right, I don't see where. Uh, hey, see. tell me your first name, bud. No. All right, he looks Mac. Like he's got one. Mac, what's your last so name? His pants, yeah. Hey, person. You guys got trauma. Mac, you gotta talk to me, buddy. If you got shears, help him with the leg. Hey, anybody got a seatbelt cutter or anything like that? I've got. Yeah. yeah. Just tear. Scissors. That's fine. Scissors. There you go. Oh, All right, I got one in the leg. You wanna just finish with the shirt here? You got a tourniquet? Yeah. Perfect. Right here? You got it? Yeah. Just cut this so we can see the rest of his back. Take them off. Hey, what's your Stay name, partner? You, bud. Keep talking, okay? Stay what's with your us, name, partner? Right. Shannon. Stay with us, friend. Get ready. I need you to go to the hospital with him. Yep. Are you on the bus? Yes. Okay. He's got one in his right shoulder. Right shoulder? Right here. here. I got it covered. Yes. Yeah. Right there. Anybody need another tourniquet? No. I got an extra right. one in my right pocket. You got it, JD? Yeah. Stay up, all right. Check his wallet for ID for me, please. What's your name, partner? I think it's Christopher. Mac. Chris. He said his name is Mac. His name is Mac. 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 Stay awake hey, with stay me, awake. buddy. Stay awake. If you need another one. So. He got any other down on his right arm here? Shannon, me, him, and their group. Shannon's going to go to the hospital with him. No, no, who's He's ready. Me, Tony, and our group. Okay, cool. Right. Right Got us here. Cool. Right, he had another knife. It's right there. Yeah. All right, just hang on to it. We're gonna need it. Williams and I were here at the onset. All right, cool. All right, no worries. Yeah, they're witness officers. Davis is ready to go with the bus. Give the sergeant the ID, and then take it with you. Joe, can you start getting some tape up for me? Thank you. Just across. All right. Then, can you do me a favor? We're gonna get separated. Can you watch this? Gun and knife. Yep, we'll do right here. Where's, where's tape? Hey, get, yeah, there you go. Leg, you got a tourniquet on? Yep. Perfect. He's got shots in the back. Looks like one in the chest, couple in the leg. Yeah, that's why I'm standing here, so they don't knock it over. One in the right shoulder. Hey, one in the chest. Hey, Chris, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Hey, Okay, how do you want to sell? I think we're just going to have to grab this. Okay. All right. I got my cam on the bus, or just, I'm going to go over to the state. Liss, L-I-S-S, 2001-6. Shannon. And minus 13, 036. For right now, we'll get him. 13036. I don't have Tony, he's 13. Hey Marino! Will you follow me down? Can I have someone on this side? Yep. Roger got a gun right here. He's got a knife right there. Liz! Liz! Hey, can I have somebody just lift this end of the cot? This in here? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. 
Sergeant Joe's going to follow me. All right, let's go. All right, Charlie, you're going to go with me. All right. Yeah, let's back uh, out. Listen. Hey, Seems scare. We'll Seems scare. Turn off the right. camera. You good, man? Body cam's yeah, off. Yeah, just. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't you put your hands on your head! What did I do? Get on the ground, I'll tell you about it. Get on the ground right now. What did I do? You got something in his pocket. I see it, it's a gun. Get on the ground. There is a gun in my pocket. Don't grab the gun! Fuck. Put your hands up! Tony, you want to work way over to me? We'll go up this way. Yep. Hold you back to over here. Yes, sir. Walk down this way. Put your hands up. You got to let the airplane. Oh, no. You got them left. We're with you. We're with you. I'm going to go hands on. I'm going to go hands on. I'm going to go hands on. Stand by. Stand by. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Which side? Roll them. Which side? I'm hurt. Pull on your right side. Uh, I'm hurt bad, please don't. Okay, you got that hand? Behind your back. Why is this shit me? Right here. Right here. Why is this shit me? There you go. Okay. Right. Why is this shit me? Let's get him onto his seated position, okay? Hey, hold on, pal. Listen to me, partner. Why is this shit me? Can you, can you sit up? Yeah. Guys, I've got, I've got quick clot, or that's not going to help him too much, I don't think. But. Okay, so I got one right here for me. I got quick clap. Why? This side's empty. Why? Checking his left side. Why? 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 to your side, bud. Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah, please help me. So we got someone. Alright, sir. Good job, we, got one we got one that looks like in the leg. Is there anything that I can use for this quick clot? Let's start this back one. All right, sir. Where is it? I can't see the hole. Okay. Please help me. You guys got covered while I do this? So I'm not. You're good. I love you. Uh, Sir, just keep breathing, okay? Uh, Anybody else got it? I don't have any quick I got, I got more quick clock. Where? Right here. I got you. Can you put pressure on this, somebody? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, we pulled up and you fired. You got it? Right there, back? Yeah. Okay. I got, I got extra, it. I got, no, no. Okay, you got gloves? Okay. Hey, bud, what's your name? Here's What's extra name? quick clot. Matt? Where do, do you need a quick clot at? I'm Matt. not sure He's yet. got an injury Matt. in his leg. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me see. Let me take, hey, let me get some light on here. Can you just let me see if I get a... Is it through? All right, I don't see where. All right, yeah, hey. he's got... Tell me the first thing, bud. Yeah. All right, he looks Matt? like he's got one. Matt, let's let's do his pants. Undo his pants, yeah. You guys Undo got trauma shears or anything? Right. If you got shears, help him with the leg. Hey, anybody got a seatbelt cutter or anything like that? I've got. Yeah. Okay. There's a, there's a, there's a, I got one in the leg. You want to just finish with your shirt here? Right. You got a tourniquet? Yeah. Okay, right yeah, yeah. Tourniquet. You got it? Yeah. Just got this take his pants off, man. Right. Just take them off. Hey, what's your name, partner? Keep talking, okay? What's your name, partner? Lift his leg. Yeah. yeah. Stay with us, friend. Get ready. I need you to go to the hospital. Do you have any other holes? He's got one in his right shoulder. Right shoulder? Right, right here. Up. I got it covered. Oh, fuck. Anybody need another tourniquet? 
I have another one. Okay. I got an extra one in my right pocket. You got it, JP? Yeah. Okay. Last Nope, that's not tight enough. Oop. I need a little bit higher. Yep. Get that thing up there. Yep. Don't go to sleep. Stay up, all right? Stay awake. Keep talking to us, What's okay? your name, partner? I think it's Christopher. Mac. Chris. His name is Mac. His name's Mac. 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 Stay awake hey, with stay me, awake. buddy. Stay awake. All right, we got a tourniquet on him. Is if that... you need another one, uh, he got any other down on his right arm here? <laughs> you guys need any more quick pop? Hey, Sarge. Williams and I were here at the onset, but no right. shouts. Yeah. Right. Sir? Can you hold here? Joe, can you start getting some tape up for me? Yep. You don't need another tourniquet, buddy? No, I don't need another tourniquet. Looks like we got blood. We got most of the bleeding stopped in the leg. Okay. Um, he, I think his leg's broken, though. Okay. Yep. 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 Did we, did we tell dispatch one time the tourniquet was bad? No, one high near the neck, and then one in this right shoulder. And he's got one in the chest. Yeah, he's moaning. All right. Hey, boss. Yeah, he's All right. Okay, how do you want us to help? That's a good question. I think we're just going to have to grab a piece and go for it. Okay. All right. I got this right side. Let's go. Come on, buddy. I got it. Let's get him up there. So throw a couple of these on for right now. We'll get everything churched up in the ambulance, okay? I know, partner, we're going to get you. Hey, Moreno. Can you guys come on this side? Yeah. Hey, can I have somebody just lift this into the thigh? This in here? Yeah. Ready? All right. Sarge Joe's going to follow me. All right. All right, Charlie, you're going to get a week. Back out. You're going to go inside your shoulder. Hey, you're going to go inside your shoulder. Yeah, we'll uh, secure. Camera. You good? Body camera. Stay secure. Camera. Josh, put your hands on, the, uh, on your head, behind your head, turn around, face away from me. Right. Get on the ground, I'm at work 557, five, 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 we have one at gunpoint. Hey, put your hands up, put your hands up, what did I do? Yeah, what did I do? We have Colorado and West Virginia, that's why I said that, that's why I said that, that's why I said that. Get down on your knees! What did I do? Don't you put your hands on your head! What did I do? What did I do? I see it's a gun. Get on the there ground. is a gun Get in my down. pocket. Get on the ground! Which side? Roll on which side? 
The Denver District Attorney will review the details of this incident and determine if the officer's actions were in compliance with Colorado law. After the District Attorney renders a decision, the Denver Police Department's Internal Affairs Bureau and Conduct Review Bureau will complete an administrative review of this case. The details of the case will be presented to a Use of Force Review Board, which is made up of community members and police command officers. This board will determine whether the actions of the Denver police officers were in compliance with the high standards expected of every Denver police officer related to policies, training, and tactics. For additional information regarding the investigation of critical incidents or the Denver Police Department's use of force policies, you may visit 
denvergov.org police. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident briefing.